Hi, I'm Sherry Martin. Tonight on Heart of the Home, my guest, Matt Deibler, the lead singer for the gospel group The Inspirations, has come to visit. And we're in apple country, so we're going to have an apple recipe, and it's called... Apple Cenobites. Apple Cenobites. This is not in our cookbook because it's something that I just created one day after making an apple pie. I had some little cores left over, and I just couldn't stand the thoughts of throwing that away, so I sliced them very thin, and I'm going to teach you now how to make something so simple, so good, um, warm, and just a good, good winter recipe using apples and cream cheese. The ingredients for this are loaf bread that we've crusted, cream cheese, a tiny slice of apple, um, a little drizzle of honey on each of those, and then we roll that in cinnamon and sugar after spraying the bread with butter. Then we just cook it for a few minutes, and boy, is it good. I promise this one is so simple. I think you can do this. What do you mean by that? <laughs> I think you can do it. He's a great singer. I don't know what kind of cook you're going to be. I'm a great eater. And you're a great eater. That's right. He's, he's had dinner at my house a few times. You're a pretty good eater. A very good eater. Very I'm good eater. Boy. Very good now, eater. I want, I, these apple cores you were talking about, they're not the ones you eat down to and then you slice them. <laughs> That's a good plan. Oh, no. no, no. Actually, it's what I had left from making my first apple pie. We went up to Mercier's Orchard, and I had made an apple pie, and I had all these cores, and I just can't stand to waste anything. So um, I think this is a good plan, and I think y'all will enjoy this one. Now, Matt, I wasn't sure about your cooking technique, but you peeled that apple and did a really good job. Well, I was trying hard. You did good. I was a little worried about it. Uh-uh, you did a good job. Okay, now I have taken the crust off the bread and spread cream cheese on it. And then we drizzle a tiny little bit of honey on it. Drizzle. drizzle. Right. Just drizzle a little, little honey on it. And we put really and truly, you seriously can use a leftover apple core. I did, the first pan of these I did, I used a few leftover apple cores. We roll this up tightly and then we mist it with spray, margarine or butter, whatever you decide you'd like to use. And then we roll it in cinnamon and sugar. And then we bake this for about six or seven minutes and it gets all warm and bubbly inside. And it is really, really good. Guys, if you listen closely, you'll hear the inspirations in the background. I hear a little Christmas music. Oh, yeah. One of my favorite recordings of all time is the Inspirations Christmas album. Well, it is a great time of year, and it's a great time for family and friends. And I'm so glad you came to see us today. We've oh, been did you drizzle on that? I drizzled. We drizzled the honey. Did we got to drizzle that? the honey, yeah. yeah. I'm watching. That's right. I'm, le I'm learning. That's right. Got to drizzle the honey. Add that little bit of sweetness to that tart apple. Boy, these are going to be good. Sure look like it. I think you're going to like these. And I think Paulette would like waking up one morning and smelling these cooking when she's getting out of the bed and you're in there making coffee and making apple Cenobites. There's your pan of Cenobites. We're going to stick it in the oven. It's going to take about seven minutes. Then you're going to have a really good... What temperature do you put that? 350. 350. All right. 350. All right, we're going to stick this in the oven now. There you go. Well, Matt, the apple Cenobites are ready. I want to see what you think. You know how simple it was. Yeah, you know how part. dirt cheap it was to make it. So what do you think? They're very good. Very good. Yeah. The kind of thing on a cool winter day, nice snack, nice appetizer, nice for a family get together. Easy to make, something anybody can do, and everybody keep apples in your refrigerator. Remember, an apple a day keeps the doctor away. Enjoy your family. God bless you.